Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome to the Potter Collector Channel, where we are a community of collectors. Harry Potter Advent Calendar Week continues with a new one today. If you're unaware, we are in the middle of Advent Calendar Week, where for every single day this week, we will be opening up a new Harry Potter Advent Calendar. I love the holiday season, so this is so much fun for me to do. Hopefully it's fun for you guys too, but ultimately I hope that these videos help you determine which Harry Potter Advent Calendar you want to open up this year. If you missed the previous unboxings, check the description down below. You will find them linked there, as well as links to the different Advent Calendars that we opened up, as well as this one right here that we're gonna open up today so that you know exactly where you can purchase them. So this one right here, you saw in the description and probably the cover photo, so you know what it is. It's something that isn't my favorite thing to do. However, this Advent Calendar is so cool for multiple reasons, but very unique. It is also the most expensive of the Harry Potter advent calendars that we're opening up here during 2022. This is the Harry Potter Puzzle Advent Calendar by New York Puzzle Company. Now, you're probably thinking, Peter, this is such a cool advent calendar. How is it not your favorite? Because puzzles aren't my favorite at the moment. If you saw the lenticular puzzle that I struggled to put together here on the Potter Collector channel, I'm still a little bit traumatized by the experience. So the thought of putting a puzzle together is very scary. But these are not lenticular and they are only 100 pieces each. So this may be some good therapy to start getting into puzzles again. 24 of them, guys. 24 for Harry Potter puzzles, not just Harry Potter puzzles, Harry Potter puzzles with artwork by Mary Graham Prey, who is the illustrator of the US Harry Potter books. I think it is all Mary Graham Prey, which is so cool. So the artwork is stunning. We're not gonna put a puzzle together here in this video, but we are gonna look at each and every one of them. We will open up a box so we can see how thick the puzzle pieces are, how small they are, so that you can get a good gauge about how difficult they will be, especially if you're purchasing this for kids or grandkids, or or if you don't love puzzles yourself, but you're like, hey, this would be a cool way to get into puzzles, you will know exactly what you're up against. So here is the front of the box, a puzzle a day till Christmas. And then on the back, it shows all of the different puzzles that are included in here and all the different artwork. And on the side, it says Harry Potter book art. The images from New York Puzzle Company's line of Harry Potter jigsaw puzzles date back to 1997, the year when artist Mary Grand Prey was chosen to illustrate the original US hardcover edition of JK Rowling's Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Since then, Mary Grand Prey has gone on to illustrate covers for six more Harry Potter books and design a whole range of artwork depicting scenes from within the Harry Potter books. This holiday, piece together the story of Harry Potter every day for the 24 days of Advent. Y'all, this is heavy. Look at how big this box is. All right, let's open this baby up. Dun 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 dun. The 24 days of Christmas. Here's box number one at the top. So we have the artwork on the front of each of these boxes. So we see what puzzle we're putting together. It's not a surprise, which is great. Number one on the side, and then on the back, there's a big number one and some copyright info. Let's pop this open, see what the puzzles are like. They're not tiny, they're like standard size. So it's wrapped up in plastic. All right, this might be something that I do this holiday season. So these are just standard size puzzle pieces, which is great. And there are 100 of them, which will create this magical picture of someone being sorted. So when they said go through the story of, you know, Harry Potter through the Advent season, I wonder how that's going to look. So number two would probably still be Philosopher's Stone. It is. Okay, so I'm gonna put that back for now as we continue looking at this. Very fun concept. And New York Puzzle Company is like a well-known puzzle maker. So these are some quality pieces and you're getting 24 little individual puzzles with Harry Potter artwork on them. So I can understand why this is as expensive as it is. All right, so there's number one. Number two, beautiful Hogwarts castle and Hagrid leading the students to the boats to cross the lake. That is absolutely beautiful. Number three, probably still gonna be Philosopher's Stone. 
It is. All right, so these aren't really in order necessarily of going through the story because this is Hagrid and Harry in Diagon Alley. Still Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone, but not really going in order of the story. That's a really beautiful illustration, especially now with, you know, Robbie Coltrane. Anything Hagrid is just extra special now. It just gives you the feels. I love the different shops and the different shop windows. To Hagrid's right, there's a barrel full of eyeballs. That's so much fun. And then what looks like probably Gringotts Bank in the distance. Mary Grand Prey is one talented artist. Number four. This is gonna be Chamber of Secrets, I'm guessing. Chamber of Secrets, and we're gonna see the Fort Anglia. Oh, no. All right, so nothing's in order because this is from Goblet of Fire. So maybe I misread what the side of the box was saying, but these aren't really in the order of the stories, but just bringing different scenes from the different books to life in puzzle form. So here we have Harry on his firebolt and he's diving to get the golden egg from the Hungarian Horntail. What's cool is they're featuring artwork that a lot of Harry Potter fans may not have seen before. If you haven't Googled Harry Potter, Mary Grand Prey, there is so much artwork that she's done that is just absolutely stunning. All right, number five. Number five is, oh, I love this illustration. <gasps> this is one of my favorite Mary Grand Prix illustrations. Isn't that beautiful? Now, there is even more to this illustration. If you were to Google it, you would see like the entire picture, but they've kind of zoomed in for this one. And it's really, really beautiful. This may be a good one to just do right now. All right, number six. <laughs> so many good illustrations. This is from Chamber of Secrets. No, it's not. This is not Chamber of Secrets. This is Prisoner of Azkaban. Yeah, Prisoner of Azkaban because we have Pigwidgeon with Hedwig and the Monster Book of Monsters from, once again, Hagrid on Harry's bed. Oh, that's such a sweet illustration. Look how happy he is. is that's so sad. Harry had to spend every birthday alone. All right, number seven. Oh, I've never seen this before, but this is a horrific illustration. Like, really, really well done, but like, horrifying. I've never seen this before. So that's amazing. I'm seeing new illustrations on these puzzles. That's really cool. Chamber of Secrets. Ron and Harry have been trapped by Aragog and his family of spiders, but the Fort Anglia is on its way to save the day. Wow, that is really scary. That was seven. Number eight down here. Number eight, we have, I don't think I've seen this one either. What on earth? I am missing out on all these illustrations. Here we have Professor Quirrell trying to attack Harry. We see Voldemort's face on the back of his head and then the mirror of Eris said there too. Wow, that's a cool illustration. Number nine. Cool. That one's cool. Harry and the other champions in the Black Lake. The mermaids are there as well as the friends and family members that were taken. And let's see, Harry's there. Here comes Cedric. Very, very fun. Number 10. Is this cool though? It's like a little mini puzzle you can put together every single day until Christmas. All right, another Goblet of Fire one. This one is very scary. In the graveyard, Priori and Contentum. Harry and Voldemort are locked in a duel. Their wands have connected and Voldemort's wand is being forced to release his past spells slash murders. Everybody's there, all the people are there. Number 11 is, oh cool. There are so many illustrations I've not seen. That is awesome. This is Harry falling through the pensive into Dumbledore's memory, showing the trials after he who must not be named had fallen. That's where we learn about Barty Crouch Jr. I think that's the first time we hear Bellatrix Lestrange's name too. Number 12 is right here. Let's say this is from Prisoner of Azkaban. Nope, Order of the Phoenix. 12 Grimald Place with an owl swooping past. I don't know if that's a Hedwig or another owl, but we've got an owl swooping past 12 Grimald Place. Very cool, it's kind of invisible in the background, but still visible to us. All right, 13 is down here. This is another creepy one. I must not tell lies. We see Professor Umbridge in the background there and Harry is just discovering for the first time that that quill she gave him is not a normal quill. So much detail in these. We see the cat plates on her wall. Harry's book bag is like hanging on the chair. Like so much detail. Google these art pieces. So much detail is in here. 14. <laughs> Valentine's Day, Harry Potter and Cho on their date, looking very uncomfortable. I think that's Dean, so Ginny would be over here. I'm pretty sure that they were there too. 15. This is Order of the Phoenix again. Oh, gotcha, okay, that is 
the prophecy breaking or a prophecy breaking. That's Harry and he's dragging Neville away with a prophecy being smashed and releasing a prophecy. And then Death Eaters and Order of the Phoenix members in the background dueling to the death. Number 16 is down here. That looks like Madam Hooch, so Quidditch. Who's playing? So Slytherin versus Gryffindor. I'm not sure which scene this is from, but we have a Quidditch scene and that is Professor Hooch blowing her whistle. Be cool if there was like a little information on the boxes about the illustration, but alas, earwax, there is not. 17, this is Prisoner of Azkaban. And this is something I've never seen before. It's Harry behind the one-eyed witch statue. He has the Marauder's Map in his hand, and he is trying to get himself to Hogsmeade to join his friends. So this is the statue that conceals the passageway, which leads to the Honey Duke's cellar. So many pieces I've not seen before. 18, back-to-back -back Prisoner of Azkaban, the Shrieking Shack. We see Harry in his invisibility cloak, and he's messing with Malfoy, Crab, and Goyle. But the cloak has slipped off of his head, revealing a floating Harry Potter head. Number 19 is another Prisoner of Azkaban. There we see Sirius Black in the Shrieking Shack, the trio, and their wands are flying towards the door. Crookshanks is there too. Some candles. Expelliarmus! Number 20 is going to be Chamber of Secrets. Goblet of Fire. We've got... Harry and Cedric Diggory flying away from the maze. They're both holding the Triwizard Cup and they're being transported to the graveyard, ultimately to Cedric's death. But they don't know that, otherwise they probably wouldn't have gone. We're coming down to the last four days is number 21, Chamber of Secrets. No, and another one I've not seen before. Oh no, this is Chamber of Secrets. Okay, I'm ashamed that I don't know this scene. Bunch of kiddos, maybe in the room of requirement? Books are flying all over the place. At first I thought it was Chamber of Secrets in Lockhart's classroom, but I don't see pixies anywhere. So what is this from? Oh wait, Harry has a whistle that he's blowing. Maybe it is the Room of Requirement in Order of the Phoenix and they've been caught by Umbridge? If you know what this is from, let me know because I'm confused. Number 22, Troll in the dungeon! Troll in the dungeon! Thought you ought to know. This looks like a vintage illustration almost. Like before Mary Grand Pre really solidified her Harry Potter style. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's really cool. 23, Christmas Eve Eve. Oh, that's beautiful. This is the artwork that's used for the deluxe edition of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. It's the golden trio on the back of the Ukrainian Iron Belly flying away from Diagon Alley and towards Scotland for the final battle. <sighs> Christmas Eve. Okay, there is an illustration by Mary Grand Pre of, I think it's the trio in The Three Broomsticks, but I also think there's an illustration by Mary Grand Pre of Christmas. So I'm gonna guess that this is the Christmas illustration. It's the Christmas illustration. Guys, it's the Christmas illustration! <gasps> oh, I love this one because it shows the Great Hall and Christmas, as well as the Christmas crackers, and specifically this one with the hat coming out of the Christmas cracker. Dumbledore's there, McGonagall's there, Hagrid's there. This is such a stunning illustration. I don't know where this illustration is located, but I feel like I need to see it in person at some point in my life. It's so beautiful. And honestly, I don't know why all of these illustrations aren't in some museum somewhere. They need to be on display for Harry Potter fans to look at. Like, they are so beautiful. I mean, but this one, perfect way to end this advent calendar and a perfect way to lead up to Christmas. So cool. So I very well might do this advent calendar and start it on December 1st. I don't know how far I'll get because December's always busy for the Potter Collector channel, so I don't know if I can like do a puzzle every day, but we'll try. We'll see what we can do. I am gonna put them back in order because I feel like this is a good advent calendar to have all the numbers in order as opposed to random. <laughs> okay, now I see why they were not in order because the puzzle boxes create a puzzle themselves. So right now the puzzle is out of order. See like the snowflake and everything. So I'm gonna have to put this back in order. <laughs> but what do you guys think about the New York company puzzle advent calendar. I think this is a winner. Even if you're not a puzzle person, I think that this is a winning advent calendar for literally anyone, for kids, grandkids, yourself. This is a great advent calendar. 
What do you guys think? Let me know and the rest of the Potter Collector community know in a comment down below. And a reminder, in the description down below, you will see a link to show you where you can purchase this advent calendar for your 2022 advent calendar season. I will see you guys in the next calendar unboxing. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until tomorrow, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome. We cover all things Harry Potter on the Potter Collector channel, like books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?